What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another My name is Jeff. Reacts. And welcome back to Epica Tuesdays. We're going to get back on track here. How many times have I flipped and said that over the last few weeks, especially after my laptop died? Okay. You know what? I'm out. I'll help you guys out. I'll just leave now. Don't worry about it. The world's not burning. My world's on fire. How about yours? That's the way I like it. And I never get bored. Yes, I recorded that. We'll probably cut that out though, it's okay. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day. And if not, I hope I could bring some sort of positive light to your day. Because guys, whatever's going on for you, whatever it may be, just remember that you are not alone. You are never alone. You're you're a warrior, you're a soldier, stay strong. I believe in you. And if you need it, the comments are there for you to vent. Or you can DM me personally on my socials. But you got this, I promise. Bro fist, high five. You got this, guys. I do hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I'm so pumped to get back into Epica here with Beyond the Matrix. They just posted this. It's another live AFS video. If you guys have any further requests from Epica, let me know. I know some of you are still waiting for Kingdom of Heaven. I know a lot of you are probably really upset with me that I haven't done it yet, and I, I, I don't like upsetting people. It's just some songs are so long, I just hesitate to do them, to be honest. My attention span, seriously, it's nothing personal. Just my attention span is like... After a few minutes, I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Da -da 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 -da. I've done it for a few bands before. It's rare, but I, I'm just hesitant. But I may do it. I may. Just the first part. We'll see. But let's get into this for now. Let's not be depressing. This is Epica Beyond the Matrix. I'm pumped. I remember this one already. This was about uh, outsiders, actually, in a way. Like, don't be afraid to let your light shine on other people. Don't be afraid to be who you want to be. We talked about this last time. I'm pumped for this. Let's do it. Ooh, I like that right away. Oh, those freaking drums. I love the lyrics, but I'm messing it up. Oops. <laughs> that was funny. His keyboard's freaking rotating. I like the Simone. I gotta pause real quick. If I don't pause now, it's like, when do I pause? Seriously, I gotta get a pause in there, bro. I'm feeling all the overwhelming emotions. This is getting me again. These guys do it every single time. I can't help it. I love them. Oh, it's just emotional. It's not even sad. It's just awesome. Like, it's so beautiful. And the message that they're sending out is so positive. It's just... Ah, <sighs> the sad thing is I know the lyrics, but I'm messing them up. Like you see me trying to pantomime the lyrics, but like I'm, 
I'm like some I'm a little forgetful of him at the moment. I'm just enjoying it. I'm in the moment, but like I'm messing him up. I know I am. You can Simone, Simone. I love the way he walked away from the keyboard though, and it's freaking spinning. That's crazy. All oh, these guys, let's get back into it. Just do it. Just the way they interact with each other. I like that too. Get it, buddy. Get it. I'm gonna pause real quick. I'm sorry to interrupt you, buddy. This is just wild, man. Absolutely wild. Dang, I keep turning it into a silhouette here. Stop that camera. Oh, I can't even. I just. I love how it's so, so close to the original, like the soundtrack, but you can tell they've added just a couple of tweaks and they've, like, they're delaying some things for the sake of the live performance. Like any other time, you know, you would say, come on, man, play the song the way that I know it on the soundtrack. But at the same time, like, they add some of this stuff for extra entertainment. Like, they spruce it up a little bit for the performance, you know? It's to entertain you that much more, and it is awesome. Like, stuff like this, like, it really works, and it's awesome, and it really, I mean, the song was already awesome, but they're making it, like, even better, if that makes any sense. Keep going. They're like little kids.
Bro, yes, freaking sweet performance. Just amazing. Breathtaking, yes. Oh, they're going into another one. Bro, that was one of those truly overwhelming but breathtaking, just beautiful, epic performances. Oh my gosh, that almost brought tears to my eyes, honestly. I, I'm sorry. There's rare occasions when I can actually cry on camera. Uh, that was close. That was close. It's nothing against you guys. It's just my own personal thing, and I'm not trying to be mean about it, I promise. To those of you that understand, thank you, but uh, that got me. That was... I'm just... When you're too weird for your own self, and occasionally, your audience. Oh, wow, seriously. I still messed up the lyrics a couple times, and I am sorry for that, but I tried my best to keep up. I knew the cues and everything. I was on time with a lot of them. They did add a couple of things I noticed. I mean, I couldn't tell you offhand. I just, I, I noticed a couple of things, like at the very beginning, his drum roll wasn't actually part of the original song. You know, of course, just interacting with the crowd, talking to the crowd and stuff. Just, it's like, it's just minor little things that I noticed. Maybe a couple extra growls or something. Just, again, it wasn't much. I can only reiterate that so much. It wasn't much, but just a few other little things to like drag on the song a little bit more and like get the crowd that much more pumped up, whether it's for the song itself or for the band or just whatever, just getting the crowd that much more into the performance. And I love that, I love that. And it's one thing to watch the band, but to watch the crowd, like you could tell, despite the lighting flickering from time to time, like you could really see the crowd's energy and how much they love it. And I love that much more watching people love watching their favorite bands. Like it, it's, it, cause it's fun to see people happy. That's just my thing. And honestly, just the, the way these guys run around the stage like freaking little kids, like, I don't know how old everyone is. I wouldn't put them at old, old by any measure. Like, I'm gonna be freaking 30 next year, so I can't say anything. I'd say they're maybe just a few years older than me, maybe a few years younger than me. And I'm dead serious. I, I don't, they're probably what, at least their mid 30s. They run, they're, they're adults literally running around that stage like little kids. Like, and you can see the smirks on their faces. They're not just like, prancing around the stage, you know, just looking at like, and I, I'm not trying to make fun of any other artists in the industry whatsoever that don't really interact with the crowd, like, but some, you can tell that they, they, they may truly love their passion, they may truly love what they do, but to some extent, it is still a job to some of them, you know, like, they love what they do, but sometimes they get focused on the job part. I, I'm not knocking them by any means, you know, they, they do a good job sticking to that and like interacting with the crowd but instances like this specifically you can tell like they're literally running around the stage smiling and like pointing at several different people you you playing that instrument you what's going on guys like even in the heat of the song like in the middle of it like when they even when they have to stay in rhythm they're so skilled that they can even keep the rhythm going and still get that finger out there and actually put a huge smile on their own face and they can play with each other they're not just interacting with the fans they're playing with each other on stage playing each other's instruments like Simone played his guitar for a second and maybe they like got back to back and sang together it's just stuff like that that really makes you love listening to music especially knowing the band themselves are still that into their craft like some part of it is a job yes they're making money, you know, they put all this effort to make this stage and, you know, behind the scenes in the studio, whatever they had to do to get that sound or to get that, like, rhythm pushed through the keyboard or something. I don't know, whatever. Obviously, music is still work to get the albums made and whatnot, but if you love what you do, it's not work. There's effort involved, yes, but if you love what you do, it's not work. And you can just tell the looks on their faces as they're running across that stage. They love what they do. They're passionate about it, and I love that. I love what I do. I love this. It's not even a full-time job for me, and I love doing this. Like, this is my utmost 
passion and you can tell when somebody else is passionate but anyways i'm gonna start now i'm rambling i'm so giddy and happy i could just talk about this forever and say the same things over and over but you guys in the comments you let me know what you think i hope you enjoyed today's video thank you so very much for watching please comment like and subscribe welcome back to epic tuesdays i'll see you guys next week love peace and chicken grease you guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic night silly me i rushed off camera i didn't even say my name is jeff pep junkies unite you guys know how it goes though you guys are awesome. I love you. Pep junkies.